I'm here in uh, Stromness in Orkney uh, just now. Uh, what we're doing today is announcing the grand challenge face of the Saltire Prize and announcing the four competitor companies who over the next five years will be competing to win uh, that £10 million prize. So it's a hugely exciting day for marine technology in Scotland. Well, effectively, the starting gun has just been fired. Um, we're now in a period where we're going to start measuring the performance of the machines. Now, in fact, we don't expect the machines are going to be going into the water in the next couple of years because there's still a lot of work to do to work out what the, the right way to build the machines, to install them and, and, and ease some of the problems out. We are the, the latest applicant, if you like, and we're delighted to have been uh, selected. Um, it's not just the accreditation or the money, really. It's, it's about the fact that it's taking the, uh, the, the industry one step closer um, and, and obviously it'll be... Uh, Massive for Case Ness and the Pentland Firth and uh, can't wait to see these turbines in the water. This is an extremely exciting transitional phase that we're in for the whole industry, moving from individual machines, the first small arrays, to the kind of project required to win the Saltire Prize um, uh, is a very different proposition. So for us it's the, a natural progression, we're ready for this, the technology is at the starting line and now it's uh, really focusing our effort on delivering that scale project. We're working with uh, Andritz Hammerfest Hydro uh, who have uh, developed a three-bladed seabed mounted uh, underwater tidal turbine and that concept uh, we like, we like the fact that it's already been well tested, we're putting it through its final paces here at the EMEC test centre in Orkney and then we'll look to deploy it in larger numbers. At present we're testing our second generation oyster machine here in Orkney and uh, that's an 800 kilowatt machine. So we've gone through a number of evolutions of the design and following on from that we'll be working on our next generation machine which will be closer to a production uh, machine and that will be a machine which is lighter, um, more powerful and which is a machine which we would have confidence in in terms of selling to customers. There will be one winner of the prize and that will go to the company that has produced the most power over a two-year period but for each company it will spur them on to develop their science and technology uh, in, in ways that perhaps they wouldn't have without the prize. Well, it's really important if we're to develop this industry and see the industry fulfil its potential that we're not only supporting the development of the technology but we're also making sure the infrastructure to support the industry is in place. And one of the announcements we've made today is a, a substantial Scottish Government contribution, £2.5 million, to the development of uh, the dock here at Stromness, a 100 metre uh, pier and uh, associated access road. And that's vital to making sure that we've got the right infrastructure to support an industry that is developing and has such a, a massive contribution to make to the Scottish economy in years to come.